What's up everybody? This is your girl Pisces Empress 555 coming at you today with another reading for new love, all right? Or see what your current energy is at this time. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new readings as I post them. Also, leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know how and if this reading resonates with you. Check out some of my other readings, okay, for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, all right? Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, see the description box below. Email me at intuitive.piscean.empress at gmail.com. All right. We do have a fall special for all personal readings. A personal reading now is $21.11. That's $21.11. You definitely don't want to miss out. So please email me, okay? All right, let's get started. Let's do one more shuffle before we get started. All right. Hope everybody's doing great. Spirit, what messages do we have? There we go already. What messages do we have for current energy and future love? Messages for future love and current energy. Too many cards. Oh, here we go. What messages do we have for future love? Okay, taking a look at your overall energy, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, getting the feeling that you have come out of or you have had your fair share of heartbreak and you're done. Okay? So I get the feeling at this time you want to be in a relationship, you want new love, but you are tired of interference, which means it tells me that there was a lot of third party energy in your last situation or just in general, in your relationship experience in general. I think you're just done with that. We have the eight of wands in the reverse, Aries, Leo, Sag. You could have dealt with the Aries, Leo, Sag or have this placement. Okay. So I think you're able to now take on any challenge that comes to you. What I mean is in your new relationship, you're going to, you know that you're going to have challenges, right? And I think you're at a place where you're able to handle things better and you want a partner that's going to be willing to do the same. All right. Cause challenges was a big thing. You may have had um, someone that just, when things got tough, they ran away from it. Okay. Yeah. We have the two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy again. Definitely someone who ran away from it, had you at a standstill thinking about whether or not this was a good situation or not. You don't want to be in that energy anymore. Yeah, death and rebirth card. Something came to an end. Something caused you to have to go within and work on self. Okay. We have the page of swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Yeah, I think you at one time felt weighted down. You felt like this situation weighed you down. You don't want that anymore. Okay. I think it was just how it went overall that just made you feel like it was way, weighing you down. Clarify the page of swords in the reverse spirit. Yeah, we put clarify with the queen of swords, Aquarius, Super Gemini. Honestly, you can see, you can see things so much clearer from your past. You're able to see that those things just didn't serve you even when you were in them. Um, didn't mean, doesn't mean you don't care about that person or you didn't care about that person, but you just want better for yourself. King of Swords. So all this sword energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, lots of reflection, lots of wisdom that you have attained from all these experiences or this last situation. It was a lot. It was a lot. We got the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. You didn't look like what you've been through. Still don't look like what you've been through, okay? You don't look like you have um, went through as much as you have, which means you have been healing at a very, very good pace and rate, okay? We have the Wheel card in the reverse. There was a time where you didn't feel like you could manifest love or go forward with love, but I'm thinking you're feeling better now. Let's take a look. Let's clarify the Wheel card in the reverse. Spirit, clarify the Wheel card in the reverse. Oh my goodness, yes, the Hierophants. So yes, you are actually listening to your intuition. You may have really been seeking guidance about um, pursuing new love and what you should do and what you should look out for, for your own well-being. So that's, that, that is awesome that you're seeking um, 
a source that can provide you with um, more insight. So that's great. We have the Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Still a bit protective. I think it's because of what you've been through. I don't think you're so protective now that you are willing and able to let love in. I just think with the lessons you've learned, you recognize your worth and you want to protect that. You don't want anyone to just have access. Four of Swords, Aquarius, but Gemini, definitely, definitely protecting that heart. But you're at peace with it, though. You're protecting your heart because you know your value. You have gotten to know more about your value. Yes. We have the Emperor Aries energy in the reverse. You may have honestly felt like you had to literally um, put yourself to the side in order to be in this last situation. I get the feeling that you're not there with that anymore. Let's clarify the Emperor in the reverse. Clarify the Emperor in the reverse. Yeah, we have the world card in the reverse. Yeah, you could, you literally couldn't feel like you could move forward with this person, this situation. I'm thinking it was something that they were doing. I think they were kind of holding it up. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think you love them, but you couldn't be all in because of their energy. They just didn't allow you to be all in. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Yeah, coming out of a place of not seeing yourself accomplishing much to now, you are actually seeing your abundance and it's amazing. Okay, wow. We have the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag coming out of a place of uh, thinking a lot battling a lot of emotions and feelings and thoughts so now you're just feeling better clarifying that with the temperance card yeah feeling more balanced feeling more solid okay able and willing to take on new challenges okay what's in new love spirit what messages do you have for new love all right yes yeah, six of wands people are seeing you as being very very i'm hearing attractive um for the late for the gentleman debonair i'm just hearing like you're very very attractive and assertive coming off to the crowd or to other people just being just just awesome you may still feel like you didn't get that justice though with the justice card in the reverse you may felt like you didn't get that closure from that last situation but i don't think it's stopping you you're still looking to move forward with the chariot card cancer energy okay could have dealt with the cancer i think you're really looking and just wanting to move forward with new love all right. How will a new love interest see you at this time? They will see you as a knight of pentacles in the reverse, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, taking, you know, accomplishing each goal at a time. They're seeing you as a very um, goal-oriented person or getting back to being goal-oriented. All right. Depends on what you decide to tell them. Knight of Swords, Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, literally getting away from things that don't serve you. Recognizing, like I said earlier, your worth even more. All right. Are there potentials that you don't even know about? <laughs> Sometimes we can have potentials we don't even know about. Let's see. Yeah, Tower card. Something definitely came to a harsh ending. Okay. Yeah, there's new love out there, Ten of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you may not even be aware that there are people watching you. There are people that really want to be with you. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. Yeah, you're looking very strong, very attractive. They wouldn't even know that you've been through all that you've been through unless you tell them. <laughs> because you're just coming off as just being, I'm hearing, on fire. you looking like you on fire. We had a Six of Pentacles, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, getting back what you put in that last situation. You are seeing your abundance come back, your time, energy, money, effort. You're starting to see it come back to you in different ways. My car is just flip. Yeah, because you've been in this mode here, Virgo energy. You've been in this, you've been in here for a minute thinking and contemplating your next thoughts, okay? Just wanting to be more careful for yourself. Coming out of a place of being sad, um, only envisioning your pentacles to now, you, you decided to get up. And work towards those pinnacles now yeah because you're more balanced king of cups pisces cancer scorpio you're more emotionally balanced and it's very visible because you've been praying meditating with the star card thinking of how to become your highest version absolutely yeah okay one more card to close out the reading yeah, we have the five of swords. This last situation had you in your head a lot, had you thinking a lot, had you thinking negative about a lot of things, maybe even negatively about yourself. How are you thinking about yourself now? Spirit, how is it thinking about themselves at this time? How are the views of this reading thinking about themselves? Okay. 
I believe you're thinking of yourself with the Seven of Wands, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. You're thinking that you are happy that you're out of something that you had to try to maintain peace no matter what. I think you have more peace because you're not in it anymore. So I do think that you're feeling pretty stable and you're just glad you're not in that situation anymore that you were in. Okay. Wow. That's good though. All right. Give me one second. Yeah, we got the hangman. You still could be deciding on your next route. You might be thinking about new love. You could be thinking about furthering your career. You know, take it how it resonates. But I do think you're thinking about newness, okay? We got the page of pentacles. Yeah, one step at a time. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could have been dealing with the earth sign. You're thinking about newness. New path, new journey, new love. All of it. You could be just thinking about new, new, new. I see the magician card. Are you manifesting also? Look at that. Getting over that love situation with the lovers in the reverse. Yeah, I think you're manifesting. I keep seeing this card. You are manifesting with your magician card. You're manifesting new things, which is good. It's well needed, well deserved. Yes. All right. So I think you're manifesting new love, new career, uh, more abundancy, healing. All right. Closing message for this reading spirit what's the closing message what closing message do you have yeah definitely high priestess mode so you're in your high priestess looking good smelling good looking authentic looking voluptuous looking handsome all of that of the above and and most importantly looking like you're more peaceful more at ease okay so it's making you highly highly attractive at this time all right let me get one more for that new love one more card for the new love we have the two of pentacles. Oh, you might have to make a choice. You may have multiple options. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You may have multiple options. Let's clarify that two of pentacles in the reverse. You, I mean, you. it may be to a situation where you're going to have multiple options. But you got to remember, you are looking more attractive. Yeah, six of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're going to be fulfilling in one way or the other or always. So it's, ooh, I'm getting a feeling you're going to have options. Yeah, look at that. Nine of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You are definitely going to have options when it comes to your fulfillment. Wow. That's great. Because you have taken the time and recognize your mistakes with the judgment card. Recognize the mistakes of others. You're moving past that now. I, I just get the feeling that you're ready to get out there. I get the feeling you're ready to get out there. I really do. Getting back to nurturing yourself. And percent of reverse. Slowly getting there. But you're getting there. Slowly getting there. Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A little perplexed still, but you are thinking about your abundancy when it comes to love. I think it's out there. You're ready. You're getting ready. I feel like you're getting stronger and stronger. And you're going to have multiple options, as we see. With that Two of Pentacles in the reverse, I think it's going to come down to you having to make a decision. Coming out of a place of not being as happy to now you're feeling more happy. Let's clarify that. Sun card in the reverse. Yeah, yeah, Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, definitely feeling more happy. It didn't. It wasn't in a, something that happened overnight. It took some time. Seven of Swords, Aquarius, see, but Gemini, get, from, get away from things that don't serve you, that don't really make you feel like your highest version. I think you've learned how to do that. Look at that, Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is what you're on your way to, your Pentacles, your abundance, in love, career, money. Take it how it resonates, okay? All right. Thank you so much for viewing this reading. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified of new reading. Leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know how and if it resonates with you. If you'd like a personal reading, please email me at intuitive.piscean.empress at gmail.com and see the information in the description box, okay? Thank you so very much. I hope you have a blessed and safe day. And until next time, bye.